Hello, my name is Anand. In this uh, Solutions Architect AWS uh, Associate, I wish to demonstrate this module 11, this is catching content. So, I will be going through this uh, guided lab that is uh, streaming a dynamic content using this uh, Amazon CloudFront. Okay, I have already opened the lab and started the lab also. You can see this, if I click this AWS, I should be opening a new console. Right. Before that, I just want to tell about some few things. After completion of this lab, you should be able to create multiple bitrate versions of a given source media file using this Elastic uh, Transcoder, this is a streaming service. Uh, use Amazon CloudFront to deliver this dynamic multi bitrate stream created by Elastic Transcoder. See, this Transcoder is a service which converts various type of uh, uh, bit streams as especially of type of formats from one type of format to another one. See, convert a source video into multiple bit rates that will be delivered through the cloud front. That is the one. So, in the first one, yeah, let us access this console. Uh, task one is your lab preparation. Uh, let us go through this AWS console, especially go through this S3. There is a bucket already created. You see in this bucket uh, you see this AWS training reinvent ok so in that you see there is an input folder which contains Amazon S3 sample dot uh, mp4 this is the file actually streaming file which will be used using this transcoder that is task 1 so now let us create this cloud front uh, distribution I what I do is that I duplicate this one ok so, I go to this cloud front, this is a content delivery network, CDN, okay. which speeds up accelerates your ca catching procedures, you see this one, enables accelerated, reliable, secure content delivery for Amazon S3 objects, application load balancers, API and more than, uh, more than, more in 5 minutes or less. So, understand this caption, securely deliver content with low latency and high transfer rate speeds. So, let us create a cloud front distribution. So, let us follow the guidelines which has been given, create a distribution, uh, get started. So, origin is nothing but the bucket, input bucket name. So, this is the input bucket which is there, yeah. Uh, the origin path that is optional, uh, origin settings, the domain name has been given restrict the bucket access select as no uh, and create this distribution ensure that the AWS training reinvent is there yeah you see this this is the AWS training reinvent only so this is the URL path for the domain name for the originating request no this is okay uh, scroll down uh, so this is a public one originating controls so he means to say uh, restrict bucket access uh, is select no okay there is no bucket restriction. Enable origin shield is no. Okay. Scroll down. You can see create distribution. Rest all things you can leave it. Uh, I mean, uh, as uh, default. So origin request policy. Uh, you can these are all optionals only. Catching is optimized. Your request origin origin request. I mean, you can see restrict bucket origin, okay, name and create the distribution. You see settings. So, this is also optional only, do not worry. Optional WAF that is firewall, okay. Scroll down, okay, and say create a distribution. So, once this is done, once this is done, you can see this one, this is enabled and it is deploying. It will take some time for as to deploy this will be the cloud front uh, I mean origination URL ok so that is about the second task so create the distribution I have created it should be done yeah enabled and it is still under deployment so we will also get uh, uh, a URL also at the end right so now you are in task 3 so, let us go with Amazon Elastic Transcoder Pipeline Service. So, 
So, this is elastic transporter pipeline service, I will just duplicate this one and use this transcoder service. This is actually uh, what does this service do elastic transcoder service which converts one format to another format. You can see this digital media stored in S3 audio and video codecs that contain this okay and playback devices mean like it can be converted to your uh, what to iPhone or maybe Android phones or maybe high quality media files into one format to another formats this is it. So, you have three components pipelines, jobs and preset. First, we will create the pipeline and then we will add the jobs. Okay. For setting this pipeline, create a new pipeline. So, the pipeline name is uh, you can say input pipeline, just say input pipeline, 15th number. The input bucket, you can select the uh, inventory, yes, S3 bucket. So, for the IAM role, select this uh, elastic transcoder role which is already defined. So, this will give access to uh, I mean uh, from S3 buckets to this transcoder service and SNS objects also. Bucket you select this one, this is for transporting files and playlists, uh, the storage class you can select standard and for thumbnails the bucket can be the same and the storage class let me check redundancy, reduced redundancy should be there, yes for reduced redundancy and choose create a pipeline. So, scroll down, choose create a pipeline. Yes, uh, the pipeline uh, task is created. Now, let us create a new job. So, once this pipeline is ready, uh, you can create a new job. So, for the pipeline, select input pipeline and give output. I, I can say this output slash dot in your uh, prefix directory. So, I say create a new job pipeline input pipeline output prefix shall be output slash dot so that will create input key you can say sample dot mp4 that is your file which is there in your uh, what we call as input slash yeah input slash that is the sample file which is already there in the s3 bucket right yeah and then uh, just select this uh, uh, available clips ok, that is ok, output dot. So, configure your output details, uh, you select this preset as uh, system preset as HLS 2 M, the preset uh, you see HLS 2 M, this is the format HLS 2 M, ok, A segment uh, duration you can have it 10, output key you can say this is an output key. Uh, you can enter HLS 20M, uh, that is the name which you are giving, right. And uh, create thumbnails, no, ok. If you want, you can have it, yes. Uh, rotation clockwise, ok. So, before I say add another output, if you want watermark, you can have uh, create one more. Maybe here you select this one HLS 1.5M segment duration you can give as 10, output key you can for uh, specify as the same one, uh, you can give maybe HLS 15M, I think he has mentioned as HLS 15M and one more we will be creating that is 10M, right, ok, this is auto see this ok, we will add one more, add one more, the preset may be HLS 1 M, where is that HLS 1 M, segment duration 10, uh, the output key is again you can say may be 10 M, 10 M, ok, create thumbnails is no we did not mention anything. Do not create the job yet, you need to few more steps to uh, have the play, uh, I mean playlist to 
do the job. So scroll down. Okay, don't select this. Create a new job. So instead of that, we have something else. Add a playlist. We have, I think, we have added all the playlists. So add a playlist. Yes, we have added outputs. Yeah. So the master playlist name. Playlist name is primary and primary and HLS uh, V3. So you can say this is primary, this is HLS V3. Primary and outputs of the master list, select all. Yeah, fifteen and ten M. Yeah, you can say select all the three. Create a new job. This will uh, uh, create a transcoding process. Should complete within a minute's time. Let me create. So here, I mean content protection none. I am not doing anything. So once we have done. You can say create job. Uh, only presets in the connection presets audio validation exception. Okay, I just select this as uh, HLS one M. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is uh, I'll select all the other things and create a new job. Oh. Uh, Playlist must not include video only presets in conjunction with audio. So, where did I do the mistake? HLS preset 2M, 1.5M, and 1M. So, this is HLS 1.5M, HLS 1M. This one also I should select HLS 2M, that 2M video. Okay, just say create a new job. Yeah, this is loading absolutely. So this will transcode the input job and it will place it into various S3 buckets. Let us go through also that S3 buckets. See this buckets which I am into. Uh, when I see these buckets, I go to these buckets there will be a folder once the transcoding is complete you will see an output folder with various kind of formats which will be coming across various type of formats which will be coming across even you can see uh, what is that primary m3 u8 okay which will be going through a little bit more uh, yeah once you see this uh, all the things are now job status is submitted try to refresh try to refresh yeah it is complete job is complete you see job is complete here or here also all type of formats which you have specified yeah it is complete now okay so we will take so now uh, test the playback that uh, task 4 so what you can do uh, you, let us check the cloud front url so this one also is enabled click this the distribution url is so and so cloudfront.net uh, what you can do you can uh, uh, write it in your what we call as uh, notepad this is the cloudfront url i write it here in the url as of now okay and also and also you see this one this is how it looks like this is the cloudfront domain name okay yeah, distribution domain name this one cloud front distribution domain name yeah now uh, in progress to deployed and all these things is now available available okay obtain a playlist file path so the file path 
is nothing but open the output folder which contains this job yes primary m3 u8 playlist file uh, here where is that primary yes this is the file okay this is the file trying to download let me check maybe I will see what is the content in the notepad not this ok so this is the file that you may play uh, this file will play on your mobile device so next you must create the URL uh, to the file from this uh, what we call as cloud front. So what we do in the text editor construct a URL by appending okay this is the one appending output slash primary this particular one. So finally it looks something like uh, this cloud front URL which you already copied. So you can say slash paste like this something like this to the end. So the new URL should look something like okay HTTP so and so. So this URL can be played in your uh, browser of, of iOS or Android device. If you do not have mobile, uh, may not be it may not be played in your local system. It needs to have M MP3 player. Beware that the standard data rates will be followed. But you can still try. I don't think it will play in my system. It is an Android file. There is no associated program. Anyway, that is ok. So, the stream should start playing on your file dynamically requested using this cloud front. So, cloud front is the URL which you have, and from there, this is the output file which is playing this primary M3 U8. This is the data which is located. So, now you have learned how you can use this Amazon S3 and also this transcoder and also Amazon CloudFront together uh, to deliver this HLS media files to iOS. So you have successfully learned the basic concepts of terminology of transcoder yes and also CloudFront services. Create your own transcoder elastic uh, I mean trans pipeline and your CloudFront distribution. We have learned how to create a pipeline service and also to add a job. So job list uh, transcoder to transcode a media file to HLS format distributed. So once this is done, I think you can submit your work. Let me check. So once this is submitted, you can see your grades. Okay, we have something we missed out something. Uh, this is 35 by 40 that is fine uh, that is 35 by 40 uh, that is all is uh, about this module 11 we will again look into module 12 thank you everyone and bye